Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching another great video. We're going to get a little bit more detailed on this video. Now we've talked before in previous videos about the overview or the bird's eye view of what you need to buy real estate and how to get approved for a mortgage and to think like an underwriter. This video is going to tell you the four C's that every mortgage company in the United States is going to look at. When you go get a mortgage, it doesn't matter who you work with. There's four things that people are going to look at. And now that you understand those after this three or four minute video, you're going to be able to say, I can get those ready ahead of time. I can prepare myself in those four areas to make sure that I have smooth sailing on a loan. Ready? Here we go. It's the four C's. Now, before we start, have you guys ever seen these? Yeah, they're construction cones. What are they used for? Well, every time there's a construction in the street, maybe a hole, maybe they're digging up a pipe or something, they put these construction loans up so that what? so that people slow down or stay away. Now an underwriter is going to use not really construction cones, but similar to that, and I'm going to tell you about the four C's. There's four C's or four secrets that an underwriter is going to look at, or a, more, a bank or a mortgage company is going to look at when they look at you for an approval. Here's the first C, credit. Well, that's pretty simple, don't you think? They're going to look at your credit report to see if you had always paid on time with everything, or maybe there's late payments or collections or bankruptcies. Maybe there's a car repossession. Those type of things, a tax lien, those are big issues. And guess what? Woo! They're going to put up some cones because that's a caution. doesn't mean that it's dead in the water. It means it's a real big caution. They're going to throw up the cones if they see some credit. But let's assume you have great credit. It's perfect. Not a blemish on it. Now we go to the second C, which is capacity. That's your capacity to repay the loan. So if your mortgage payment is $1,000, but you only make $1,100 a month, whoo, the cones go up. Caution, stay away because that may not be enough money. They're going to look at your capacity. But now let's assume that you have great credit, great capacity, you make $10,000 a month, but your mortgage payment's only $1,000 a month. Great, no cones are going up. Everything's going to be fine. Let's go to the third C, that's cash. Now what if you have to come in with a $3,000 down payment but you only have $3,100. The cones go up. Why? Because that's a caution. You may not have enough money. They want to see that you have some money in reserves so that after you put this down payment down, and let's say a month later you have two flat tires, well now you're going to have to decide whether to fix your tires or pay your mortgage. And that's a risk, and they're going to be very cautious about giving you a loan. But now let's assume that all three of those are great. You have great credit. You have the capacity to repay. You have all the cash in the world. You have $100,000, and you only need $3,000 for a down payment. You're doing great. What's the fourth C? Collateral. And this doesn't really have anything to do with you. It has to do with the house you're buying. So what if you're all great in those cases, but they go look at the appraisal, and the house has termites, or it's full of mold? Whoop, the cones go up again. Why? Because that's a big caution. The collateral may not be in good condition and they may not want to give you a loan, even if you're perfect. So there's your four C's. Now, I'm going to give you a fifth one. I told you there was four. I'm going to give you the bonus round, the secret five that a lot of people don't even know about. Let's say your credit's okay, not great, but not bad. Your cash, your collateral, they're average, not good, not bad. They're sitting on the fence and the underwriter says, I don't know if I really want to give you a loan or not. It's just, I don't know. We're going to throw in number five, which is a C for compensating factors. If a good lender understands compensating factors, sometimes they can find something in your file of your life that helps push you over the fence and pushes the underwriter to say, okay, that's great. How about this as a compensating factor? Maybe you had rough credit, but it was because a family member died and you had to take care of them and you took care of them but while you were doing that your expenses went up and you lost your job but since then everything's been fine now we have a compensating factor what if you were on a job and you can kind of pay the mortgage but your company has guaranteed you in 30 days a raise of a thousand dollars a month is that a compensating factor yes it is so we're going to remember the four C's you remember those your credit your capacity to pay, your collateral and your cash. And a good smart lender is going to give you five, the compensating factor. And those things together will get you smooth sailing for your mortgage loan. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.